Hey everybody, it's Diane. I've been thinking about making a video like this for quite a while and I decided I'm going to. Um, so, so I love to look at certain types of collections that other crafters have. Uh, one thing I love to look at is their collection of golden books. I also like to look at sewing patterns and some and beautiful fabrics, things like that. So I decided that I will show mine to you. So today I'm going to show you my golden books, but along with them, the wonder books and the elf books. And I have some readers in the back of this. Maybe I'll show them to you too. And then another time I'll show you my vintage sewing patterns. And then if you want, I can show you some of my fabrics too. So I didn't know if you'd be interested in something like this, but I know I would like, love to see the collections of others. So um, these are the ones that I'm actually going to de-stash, which is why I decided to go ahead and do this video because I'll be de-stashing these soon. And then this, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it is a metal drawer, a wire drawer that goes in, see there's the front of it. It's got a chalkboard on the front. It says number one, but you probably can't see it. But this is a drawer that goes in a piece of furniture that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this is where I keep my golden books. <clears throat> I just brought the whole drawer, drawer right in. So let's look at these. Um, the little books uh, are, are also part of the collection. So this is, I'm not going to like flip through everything. I just want to show you the covers. So we're just going to do a quiet video. I'm not going to talk about dates. I just want you to see my pretty collection. I recently made a little wire bound journal with a, a, another copy of that book. And then the first little golden books, they're the smaller size ones. Now the golden books that are being de-stashed. <clears throat> and this is a golden book, but it's a Ding Dong School book, which what used to be a TV show with Miss Francis, which I don't ever remember. Um, I will tell you, oh, it's 1955. It doesn't look like the very first page, but it is. This is an interesting one. It's a Bonnie book. The Bonnie books are really fun. I don't find them nearly as often as I do the other kinds, but they I'll often have fun elements like a wheel to turn or something, something different. And I've had fun playing with those things. This one has this spring and a noisemaker inside and it, it, it fell apart. I wouldn't be able to make it work again, but it was glued in here like that. And so if you pressed on the book, it would say Bow Wow, apparently. This was my daughter's favorite golden book when she was growing up. This one is not hers. This one is a Rand McNally elf book. Cute. Love the goat. A golden activity book. Here's one that had some features on it. Probably a wheel that would change the colors as you turned it. Yeah, there's a little notch there where you would turn the wheel. So I had a book like that and I actually made a wheel to go on it because the wheel, the pieces are always missing on these fancy books. So I worked hard and got a wheel and showed pictures through the window. I think it was a magic TV book. That was fun. So it had had a, not this shape, but it had a, a different kind of a shape. Here's a clock one, a watch. So this probably had a, a picture of a watch with hands. And then this one is a um, cozy corner book. So it's bigger than the others. And it's a Alice in Wonderland book. 
Now, the books that I'm keeping for now, I may decide to destash more. I think I have them organized. No, I don't. I thought I had all the golden books together, but I don't. I did something different with organizing. This is the Marvelous Merry-Go-Round. It's very thick. The covers are thicker. I will tell you the date on this one. 1950. And it is a first edition. It is cracked right there. So that would reduce the value and the corners are worn. But it's in pretty good shape. So that looks like a fun book to play with. Walt Disney's Mary Poppins. It's kind of worn on the front. The Magic Compass, another Mary Poppins, but it's not the Disney version. Raggedy Ann and Andy, five birthday parties in a row. These are not the Johnny Gruel illustrations. Oh, somebody scribbled on there. But they are adorable pictures. An Alice in Wonderland. I think I put in the front of this the ones that would have a certain theme. So these, most of the golden books I do eclectic, but these I would use Mary Poppins and Raggedy Ann. Must be, I wanted to do a merry-go-round theme. And Alice, I have a couple Alice books. Oh, there's another one. Mad Hatter's Tea Party. This one, I think this is the only time I found this one. It's not one I see. 1951, first edition, but it's torn. And Bambi's Children, so I would do Woodland's Animals in these two books. And then I have Religious, just a couple. Little Golden Book of Hymns and Prayers for Children. So these are my two favorite illustrators of Golden Books, Eloise Wilkin and um, Corinne Malvern. Then I think I divided them up by type of book. So these are golden. Time for Bed. I had never seen this one before. It's not super old. 1989. I thought it was so cute and unusual with a skunk family. And the illustration, I'm not fond of skunks, but the illustrations are so cute. And I had this little piece that I stuck in here so I'd make sure I used it. I, I do want to make a journal with that. I think it's so cute. And there's Heidi. Animal Babies. Now these have the old spine. This this one is metallic, but it's still old. These are all old ones. It's uh, letter E back here. So this one's been around a long time because this is 1947. A, B, C, D, E. So this must be the fifth edition of it. Wow. Isn't it so precious? I love this. And there's the fuzzy duckling in the full size. We saw the miniature version of it. So I think this, yeah, that's that's old. I didn't realize this book was that old. 1949. Second edition. It's in good shape. Up in the Attic, a story ABC. This is a Corinne Malvern, 1948, letter D. It's really cute. I had never seen this before, and it's in good shape. My Baby Sister. It's got a ben, couple bends in it. <laughs> Look at her. These are beautiful, too. And this illustrator is Sharon Kester, and... The author is Patsy Scarry. That's Richard Scarry's wife. 1958. I said I wasn't going to look at them all, but I love to look at the old ones, and I thought you would too. Looks like the last page is missing, so I don't have the letter on it, but it's not in great condition. Guess Who Lives Here? This one's kind of rough, too, and it's also one I had never seen. It's a, one of the older ones with thicker cover. 1949. 
letter C. It is Eloise Wilkin. I thought I saw a picture of the children and then I saw him and I'm, well, maybe it's not. Uh, you don't see many um, adults in her books. That definitely looks like hers. Come Play House. This one looks like Eloise Wilkin, and it's missing the back cover. Yes, it is. Um, I got this one for free because it was missing the back cover. Look at her. She's so sweet. 1948, letter D. And here I have a... Um, a Bonnie book and a Friendly book and a Bonnie book. I think Friendly, are, they're, look, they look the same on the back. A movie book of Trotty. So here we go. It's a, a Bonnie book again. So it had a wheel here that would show you different pictures of the movie of Trotty, the horse. 1951. Here we go, a friendly book, 1950, this has cute little squares to cut out and use, so it has different stories in it, and simple pictures to color, so it had paints in here, you can tell because the paints got around there on the outside, 1954. There was always something fun to do with a Bonnie book. This one is Rand McNally. I think all the rest are wonder books. So two Rand McNally elf books. One, two, cock-a-doodle-doo. Love the illustrations on this one. Frances Wozmeck, I've never heard of her. This one is 1950. Look, they're so cute. It's coming apart, but the pages are in good shape. <laughs> I love this book. Let's go shopping. $19.58. So she's learning about where the grocery store gets all of these items, which is a good thing for children to learn. They don't just originate with the grocery store. Now, if I can get these out, I've got a stack of wonder books. The Cozy Little Farm. Coming unstitched. The Wonder Book of Dolls, 1959. I used to really love dolls when I was a little girl. The Muppets Surprise Party. So this is about a family of rag dolls, which is really fun. So it would be fun to do these two together when I do a couple of these books. Mr. Bear's House. Coming apart. Look, oh, I love these animals. 1953, I think. Yep, 1953. It's scribbled in, but I can rescue some of it. And I also love this one. I've had this for a while. I will not destash it because I need to make a book, a journal with it. 1950, because Amos is so darn cute. Mother Goose Rhymes. Oh, here's another Bonnie book. This one doesn't have any interaction. Missing part of it. 1956. Really cute pictures. I think the illustrator's name was down there. Ten Rabbits. This one's really falling apart. 1957. 
just like mommy. Now this is a fun one because on this side it's just like mommy and on this side it's just like daddy. And I did a journal that did this, um, Three Little Pigs and Red Riding Hood. So I, I made it flip too. So this half of the book was would be about daddy and this half of the book would be about mommy. So that's fun. And I also have Good Morning and Good Night. So that will be another fun one to do. Fun Day School Activity Book, another Bonnie book. It says riddles here. So I don't know what this cutout is for. Looks like somebody was poking it. But I don't think there was anything special here. But it does have little activities like dot to dot. It's 1955. Color by number, paper tearing, just little activities. Just a fun book. And a wonder book, my poetry book, children's best loved poems. It's a romper room book. Look at how pretty. Vibrant. 1954. These are so cute. Wink and Blinkin' and Nod. So this has other poems in it too. It has the Wink and Blinkin' and Nod poem in the front and then other poems. Really cute, falling apart badly. Meet the Bobsy Twins. I thought this was interesting. Um, I bought this at the windmill, so this, where I get the books up there, it costs more than when I get them at the flea markets, but I only pick out the ones I really, really find interesting, and I paid five dollars for this one. Meet the Bobsy Twins, 1954. I have never seen it in a book like this. So while I have it here, I'll just show you the rest of what I have in this drawer. I did have it full. It was chock full of golden books and wonder books and whatnot, but <clears throat> I de-stashed and I had room to put these in here. So I have songs of children and some of them I've taken apart and just preserved some of the pages. And Numberland, I just love those little characters. They are on the pages too. I paid six dollars for this book because it was so cute. It has just fun little pictures it's from the 1930s. Using arithmetic, so I think this is grade six. Elementary English in action. Social Utility Arithmetic, third grade. I love old school books to make journals with. Number Stories, book two. There's a Go Eatin' the Flashcard, Eating. Uh, and Number Stories, book one. And The Progressive Road to Reading. And these aren't school books, but they're old. Oh, here's, here's a reader, Fact and Story Readers. The covers are so great, aren't they? But these are children's books. Doings of Little Bear, and I think they're from the 30s. Oh, this one's even older. 19, no, it is. 1935 edition. Copyright 1915. Um, the Three Bears. Cinderella. Very nice pictures. Nineteen thirty-four. And when little thoughts go rhyming. Look at the pretty pictures. Maginal right and right. Anyway, that's how it that's how it looks. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
has some black and white and some colors. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at my collection, and I hope that you will enjoy seeing what I make with these. Now you know why I have to de-stash stuff. When, when would I ever have time to make this many journals? But I can't give any of them up, except for that first stack that I showed you. We shall see. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you'd like to see me flip through my vintage sewing patterns, vintage fabric, or anything else you think I might have to show you. I appreciate you coming and watching today. Sorry, I shouldn't be doing this on camera, but I will see you soon. Do something creative today. Bye-bye.